What's up, meatheads? Coach Mandler here, Team Swole Patrol. Welcome to another episode of Flex Friday, where we're going to be getting after it inside the gym before we get after it on the weekend. Now, for today's routine, we're going to be working on a little bit of speed and explosiveness work with the bench press, doing a little bit of west side methodology, where we're trying to increase the rate at which we can produce force. Now, the typical dynamic day whenever I'm doing speed work on the bench is just going to do three reps at anywhere from 40 to 60% of my max and whatever core lift that I'm doing that day. And I'm typically just going to go bam, 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 just crank them out as fast and as forcefully as possible. But what I did today was I took something from my boy Matt Winning's book and instead of going immediately down in the eccentric and then popping right back up, I paused during the eccentric right at the point where I typically fail my sticking point, paused it there for three seconds, stayed nice and tight, and after that three second pause, boom, finished the eccentric, then exploded all the way to lockout with the concentric portion of the lift. Now I gotta admit, it did feel a little bit weird to add a pause in of all days, a dynamic effort day, but I will say this, and this is where I really see the value in using this type of movement with your speed and explosiveness days. A lot of times whenever anyone's using uh, you know, West Side methodology, whenever they're doing their dynamic effort days, they typically get lulled into a stupor of laziness. And the reason is because when you're lifting at 40 to 60% of your one rep max in that particular core lift, it's inevitable you're gonna lose focus at some point throughout those eight to, to 15 sets that you do, what, however many you do, and you're not gonna get the same level of useful and the same level of value from that lift if you're not staying as tight as possible, okay? Just because it's light and you can crank them out real quick doesn't mean you're getting the most out of it if you're not staying as tense as you need to be. Yes, you're getting your body adapt to moving that bar fast, but you're also picking up bad habits in the process. And I've been victim of that. And one of the things I notice about doing this type of bench press is that by adding that pause during the, the eccentric part, and especially at that sticking point, it forced me to stay really on point, stay really focused, and be deliberate with how I'm lifting that weight. Even though it's really light, I was focusing on staying as tight as possible and treating that light weight like it was heavy weight. That's the goal that you should have whenever you're doing speed work. Be powerful, be explosive with it, but stay as tight and keep as tense throughout your entire body as possible. And that's the real value I see with this variant of dynamic effort work. Enough talking about it, it's time to be about it. Enjoy this week's Flex Friday routine and be sure to holler with any questions you might have on any of the exercises you see within it by leaving them down in the comment section below.
YouTube, thanks for checking out this week's Flex Friday video. If you dig it and you want to learn more about this performance bodybuilding style of training that allows you to build a kick-ass physique and match it up with some serious ass-kicking capabilities both inside and outside of the gym, then do yourself a favor right now and grab your free week's worth of performance bodybuilding workouts by clicking on that button right there. Inside, you're not only gonna get that free week of workouts, but you're also going to get a custom performance bodybuilding plug and chug workout builder that'll make sure you're never lost inside the gym again. Appreciate your time, guys. Have a good one. Mandler, out.